everybody, our next project for today will be the staircase, and that will also be using loops. We'll just have a little bit of code. So, as usual, we will go to the instructions first. So, can you use a loop to make a staircase? And that is our project, so yes, of course we can. So, to get started, you want to use a loop to run your cube block more than once. Let's go back to BlocksCAD. We need a cube. And as usual, I'm going to get a color. Um, and render it. That looks fine, first step. Um, it also said we needed a loop. So let's go into loops and grab a loop. And then let's go back. To space the cubes out, translate the cube using the loop variable i multiplied by how far apart the cube should be. You can find the i block in the variables category. So let's see how many stairs are on this one. One, two, three, four, five. So I think I'll make one like this picture and I'll make five cubes. So I will need to do a count from one to five by one. We'll try that first. Um, and I'll put this in and I'll render it. Hmm, didn't do anything. Did say I needed my variable i, so let's pull that out. And it also said, I think that's how far you translated. Um, oh, how far apart the cube should be. So that tells me we need to translate. Um, it also said something about multiplying. So let's go back and take a look at that again. Um, using the loop variable i multiple the loop variable i multiplied by how far apart the cube should be. So the length of my cube is 10. So if I multiply it by 10, they should all be attached to each other. And then I'm going to do that in the x direction because I'm going to have it go this way. So let me get a math block and I'll choose multiplication. I'll take the i, put it in one side, and I'll change this to 10. We already experimented a little bit with getting how far apart it's going to be. So let's render that. So they are still touching each other, which we want, but they're not different heights because we don't want gaps in between our steps. Um, so to get different heights, we'll have to do something with the Z. So maybe we take this and we duplicate it and we put it in the Z and let's take a look at what happens there. So now the blocks go higher. However, they don't touch the ground. None of them touch the ground. Um, and you need them to touch the ground if you're going to walk up the stairs. So maybe we make our cubes a little bigger. So let's experiment with that and let's duplicate this again. And let's put it in the Z of the cube as well because now this will take the size and multiply it by 10. Hmm, so that doesn't really work very well. So it works okay, but we're gonna have to modify that a little bit. So as you look at it, each cube gets larger, which is what we wanted. So we could go up on the stairs, but the difference, you know, that's a much bigger steps to take and we don't have them on the ground. So our stairs aren't very sturdy. So did we actually do the Z twice? Because if you look at the height of this one, if this was on the ground, it would probably be, be the height we needed. So I'm just going to take a guess and pull this Z out of the translate. Let's render it again. Oh, and now you can see we've got each step a little higher than the other, touches the ground, and is moved on the x-axis so we can get up the stairs. So it makes a nice line of stairs. You rotate it around, still looks great. So that works much better by using the Z 
in the actual size of the cube multiplied by 10, um, which is the size of our cube, because each one should be that much larger than the number it is, and we're counting 1 to 5. So we would multiply 1 by 5, that would be our standard cube, 2 by 5, I mean by 10, um, and that would make the height 20, 3 would make the height 30, and 40, and 50. So that works much better, and we don't need this block, so we can delete it.